Syngenta Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. Combines are just really now starting to roll in soybeans. Looks like that harvest is going to be a little late. Do we have any concerns with winter wheat planting dates? So the answer is absolutely. Winter wheat planting dates are incredibly critical in terms of maximizing our yield potential. The data is quite clear. The earlier we plant, the higher the yield potential that we have. At the end of the day, does that mean you shouldn't plant wheat on November the 11th? The answer is no. Gosh, last year we were making 95 bushels per acre with November the 11th wheat. But there are some management options that you need to be aware of as, as planting date moves later. And I think that we just have to get better at, at doing that if we're going to be successful with later planting dates in wheat. What are those? Well, it basically comes down to seeding rate and a little bit to seeding depth. And we talked about that a bit. The later we plant, I want to go a little bit deeper with the seed because I give myself some cushion from the cold weather and the frost heave activity. Not talking huge, but a little. The other thing is seeding dates. And that's where, as an extension worker, Bernard, I really apologize. I just haven't done my job. I haven't been out there pounding the pavement enough saying you plant early, plant less seed. You plant late, plant more seed. Really intriguing outcome. Last year, Alora Research Station, November the 23rd, we planted 3 million seeds per acre. I know everybody hates that, but 3 million seeds per acre was wide open on the John Deere drill. We also planted 1.9 million seeds per acre, which is kind of a pretty high seeding rate. The 3 million seeds per acre actually increased our yield by 30%. Am I recommending that yet? No, but it really intrigues me. We have to do more work there. So here's the deal. You start out September 20th, it's prime wheat planting season. So we're, we're past early now, so we're kind of into the optimum window. So we're at 1.4, 1.5, 1.6 million seeds per, per acre. That's about 22 seeds per foot of row in a seven and a half inch row. From here on in, it's basically going to be, once we get to October, increase your seeding rate by one, millions, or pardon me, 100,000 seeds per acre for every five days. We get to October the 5th, we go to 1.6 million seeds. We go to October the 10th, go to 1.7 million per acre seed, seeds. And just continue to ramp that up as we move later in the season. I really think that that will give us some insurance as we move later in the season, wetter soil conditions, more plant loss, more plant loss, less tillering. We just continue to ratchet that yield potential back. Let's try and push that forward again with those more seeds to compensate for those less ideal conditions.